Good afternoon, sports fans. My name is Magnitude. I am your friendly neighborhood Andy Man. I will not wait for you this time, Ryan. Absolutely not. Bing, 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 bada, bing, bing, There's Ryan. Bing, 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 We're just going to cut bing, him bing, off. Not let him do that. Bing, 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 not let him do that. Welcome to Invasion of Geonosis 2. We're doing the intro, damn it. Invasion of Geonosis 2, the uh, Man Nation Green pay exclusive pay review. Kicking off with a Supernova title match, as uh, you, you know, Android 18 there. You know what she looks like. You don't have, have me tell you. But that's what she looks like. Indeed. This video brought to you by the March Magnus Tournament Bracket. Uh, yes, March, March, you know, Magnus. yeah, as, as college basketball uh, enamors people around the world, brackets in March Madness. Because we like puns and we'll never grow out of them, March Madness is starting March 5th. Fill out a bracket in the description until March 5th you have to do. Yoda sponsored this sentence. Until March 5th you have uh, to fill out a bracket, and whoever fills out the most correct bracket wins a $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is sign up on the website. There's no fees or credit card information or all that. I don't even own the website. I'm just using the website. Uh, Shalom! Yeah, so fill out that bracket. Uh, obviously, yeah, if you get the best one, you win a $25 gift card to Amazon. No strings attached. So, fill that out. I'll I already filled mine out. We'll be advertising this heavily until that time comes, so be sure to get your brackets in and you know, share your thoughts on them in the, I don't know. That's, that's what I got for that. Yo, the last, I love these tournaments. I already got mine filled out. And spoilers, Doomfist kills the Magnation. And you got Doomfist winning? I got him running the gamut. If you look at his, if you look at his uh, bracket, how it's set up, he has to go through the Hulk. He has to go through Jack Six. Indeed. Indeed, Jack Six. Yeah. Way to, way to completely just anticlimactically announce Jack Six is returning. That's fine. Wait, there I didn't. Go. What? Who? Yeah, there you go. No big deal. No, that's fine. You, you killed. You did it already. You did it. You did it. No, he said he said sack chicks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's. I love to sack chicks. Doubling down on it, guys. We're just doubling down on disappointment. That's all we're doing. Android 18. Censor Her opponent. I can't censor it. I'm sorry. I, I, it's fine. I mean, they, they click on the link, they'll see it anyway, but I wanted to it's be a little a more tease. grandiose about it. <laughs> a tease, guys, a tease. I wanted to be a little more grandiose. It's all right, her opponent now. Uh, that is a, her opponent. It's Nina Williams. Hello. Okay. She is uh, looking ready. She It's her first t official title defense, I believe. Yeah, it is. And uh, Jinx is running around hitting people with kendo sticks and, and chairs and whatnot. She's kind of being a general oh, yeah. douche. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, is that her on the ramp back there? Yeah, of course oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, is it? Yeah, why oh, not? Wow. Sure. Why not? She's still not on camera shot, though. I wonder though. why she's here. I would imagine from Moral Support and other Tom Fulley. She's got her back. Because, obviously, if Jen Ursa ever makes it through the portal, she is going right after Nina Williams. Well, she can't because she's been injured, you know. The stretcher incident. You were there for that. Oh yeah, she's stuck. She's stuck in 2K17. She has to heal up and try to make it through the portal. Yeah, there's Jinx. Just uh, there's a guy in a very nice blue polo who has the premier seat. He probably paid a lot for those tickets. Decided to dress up like he came out of work. That's fine. <clears throat> Supernova title, guys. Who do you guys got winning? Supernova title. Who do you um, got? who do you got and why as well? Why? Uh, I guess I'll, I'll go with Android 18. Okay, why? Because um, I've got that Dragon Ball fever. H W H Y Y. Because I've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball Z stuff, I okay. guess. Andy, who do you got? Uh, I will go two with Android 18. Just because if she can put up with Krillin and have a child with him, she can take that title. But why? I just said why. No, you said why, not why. Oh, but why? But why? But who? But who? Cleaned up, clean shaven Raditz showing the title to both competitors, and he's, uh. Looks like a teenage British bulldog. Well, it's Raditz, alright? He's use your imagination, damn it. He is. Okay. It's Raditz if he, if he cut his hair short. And, and also wasn't wearing the power armor. Yeah, and in the and in the Marines. Soup. I mean, listen, man. He had to learn to get some discipline somewhere. I okay? mean, technically, he he was part of Freeze's army, so that's not like too far off. Yeah, but they weren't the Marines. You know, the best of the best. You know, have you seen those commercials? I've seen zero commercials for Freeze's army. Zero. What a clothesline! 
Well, yeah, because they're they're gone now. They're pretty much all dead. Spoiler alert. Mm. What do you mean, spoiler yeah, alert? It's ruining childhood dreams. I wanted to. Be Everyone a soldier. knows Goku beat Frieza. What are you what? talking about? Well, Goku is a former champion. That's that's true. I'm sure he at some point he has beat Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Neckbreaker. Hey, man, listen. I am into uh, March. Sorry, April of 2016 now on the website. So we are oh, moving along. Dip. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jinx, Jinx, though. Uh... What a backstab by Nina Williams. Jinx a distraction. Classic uh, heel tactics to get on the ropes. And then classic face tactics to completely abandon the match and yell at the person on the ropes. Every time. Never fails. A little crucifix there by Nina Williams. Jinx is Ouch. showing her support. Yeah, she's got can move well in heels. I'll I cannot move that well in heels at all. I've tried. Trust me. Trusting you. I trust you. You should. I said it. You should. You should do that. You should, all right, and I will. You should do that. What a kick to the gut there by Android 18. Ouch. Looks like Ryan is our pain translator. Yes. Oof. Ouch. Owie. My bones. <laughs> Which one in particular? All of them. Okay, All top rope right. for Andrew 18. The crowd on their feet. Those two are in the identical t-shirts next to each other, but different sexes of people. Crazy. Discount Crazy. bin at Savers. That? How do you? Are you assuming their genders? <laughs> Boo! Boo. Cool. That's what you get for assuming their gender, Steve. You get dumb. Andrew 18 is Andrew. once again going to yellow jinx. That is going to be. It's going to cause yeah, a downfall. Why is she doing that? Just fucking ignore her. <laughs> Pride, man, or something. I don't know. Going for the pin. Only a one oh. count there. It's a quick one. What a kick to the gut. Yeah, like, it's like a life changing kick right there. Like, think about it. If you're in a straight fight with somebody and, like, somebody on the sideline just going, Boo, you fucking whoa, 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 suck. Whoa. Like, are you, like, gonna... why, why, how's that chair getting in there? This is uh, Extreme Rules, excuse oh. me. Jinx throwing a chair to the ring and a Hurricane Rama from the top rope. I need a million. Oh. Imagine that went onto the chair. That would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. I Nina Williams. I would have lost my shit. Yeah, we should find it. Make him tap? <laughs> uh, well, imagine... That sign said make him tap. They probably have signs for other matches. You know. Assuming genders. Guys. But why are they doing it? Overblown. Well, this is specifically women's yeah. supernova title. Maybe... Microaggressions. Maybe he's just really just happy to be here. Okay? Maybe he made one sign. All right. <laughs> Arm drag. A punch by 18 and a hurricane run of her own from the outside. Ouch, onto the concrete. Owie, her bones. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, ouch, owie, her bones. The on <laughs> freely from the Mr. Voice. Skeletal give good calcium. Doot, doot. <laughs> Nita Williams uh, being slammed into the barricade there. And I'm being thrown back into the ring and now here comes 18. I mean, Reddit is just yeah, gonna get, that, get out of there. That's yeah. right. What the fuck is this? <laughs> You're on the outside. Top, top rope, rope now. Better than a freaking double axe handle. There you go. Elbow drop right in the gut. Ow. And taunting the crowd loving it. Owie indeed. Seems to be the word of the pay per view so far. Owie. Her bones. Owie's <laughs> Owie. <laughs> what a submission maneuver. Ow. Contorting Nina Williams. Uh, owie, my tibula. Okay. Let's, you know, let's draw a diagram. Oh, my duodenum's acting help, up. Help the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure not a bone. Is no, that part of the brain? Not. No. What? No, it's something in your intestines. I can't remember. Duodenum? Exactly yeah, I think it's like the, the beginning of your large intestine. I'm going to fail that question. Oh, no, it's been a while since I've seen my own no, it's it's actually like every verse from a fifty songs ever. Do wa do wa da. Ah, uh, boo. Boo. Yeah, fifties music. Smashing your head against the canvas, the devastating canvas. Kind of, oh, a rear naked choke now. Got the legs locked in, dropped, but immediately Neil Williams grabbing the rope. And the, uh... <laughs> okay, right. Andrew eighteen looking winded. And again, getting distracted. Ryan laughing for no real reason. No, no, that was 18 laughing. Oh, okay. He's like, he's just talking. Like about I was it. saying, like if you were in a fight with somebody and somebody on the side was like, "Boo, you fucking suck!" Like you wouldn't like start going over and yelling at that guy in the middle of the fight. I mean, it depends. If I just like, like power bomb, bitch. if I power bomb the guy at like the top of a dumpster, 
And I think I got a few seconds, maybe, you know. Oh. Like a Texas Cloverleaf type of new type submission maneuver there by 18. She's got it locked in. She's got it locked in. Yes, the third one. It's the paradox. The so, Texas oh. you know, not as good as the other ones. Objectively. Yeah, the movie that everybody like hates right now, which I actually kind of thought was pretty good. I thought, it was, yeah, I thought it was pretty good too. Yeah. Never seen any Cloverfield movies. Whoa, block oh, the punch. first one is a must watch. Masterpiece. The first Cloverfield movie is an absolute must watch. Yeah. Oh really? I thought I was gonna like just what? make you think like DDT. Yeah, no, it's one of the my cover favorite one. Movies ever. Two near fall. Kick out a two and a half. Is Nina Williams? Yeah, I did have some issues with Cloverfield Paradox. Like, there were some things that like seemed to happen for like no reason without any explanation. Which I don't really want to say, like, for spoilers, but but overall, I, I, I liked it. I don't know. The ending shot is, like, fucking cool. Belly to belly suplex. Oh. Look at the leg. Oh, leg. One. Two. Near fall again. I think I'm behind by like half a second. Oh, That's right. That's why you guys are the color guys. And I'm gonna play by play. Yeah, yeah, we're the colored guys, and you're you're the you're the mess. <laughs> Whoa! PC principal calling in. Pump handle. Uh, the ahead. term "colored" is to not be used. <laughs> the cover one or even referred Two. to. How about that near fall, Andy? How about that? You pay attention to that, or you you on your soapbox still, huh? It's mighty high up here in my soapbox. Here, what? Sir. Oh, just don't double axe handle off of it, and I'll be happy. What a leg drop, Andy Williams. Are there some tied pods in that soapbox? Reverse box? DDT by Android 18. I'm just going to just aggressively call the match to as you guys, just talk over you guys. That's all. If I disagree with the joke. I believe. Also, one, I think that was the first tied two. pods joke we made. Well, good for us for staying above <laughs> that level of, you know, chicanery. Chicanery. Tom Ford. Shaquille O'Neal Don't be a buzzword guy. Tornado DDT top rope. The crowd absolutely going bonkers. 4chan. Are we just naming websites now? What? No, he called me a buzz. Oh. Guy. <laughs> BuzzFeed. So he's being a buzzword guy. In gotcha. response to being called a buzzword guy. That's all. Rolling over 18. The hook of the leg. One. Two near fall again. Again, Braddock's in uh -huh. perfect position to see that. Dropkick to the back of the head. And New Williams in a celebrate. Choosing to taunt. And uh, I'm sorry we didn't get to see any uh, highlights from that episode of Green because that uh, had about. I really one. did try, but it was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I, I I made the video and it, I it was just it was bad. It just. Yeah, it was bad. It was much my fault, though. But I do appreciate you still looking for the highlights, though. I do appreciate that. Side Russian leg sweep. I think if anyone's going to be Russian, it would be Android 18. Uh, hmm. Why? Because she's blonde and blue-eyed? I would say she's more German. And she's... I, I think I think it's because Red Ribbon Army, I think, like kind of has like Russian undertones. Undertones. Hmm. Another Texas Clover Lee. Lot, and that's it. That's it. Submissions oh, work. Wow. Nina Williams tapping out to the superior might of Andrew 18. And once again, Andrew 18 is a supernova champion of the world. The mm. world. The universe. All the Not universes. Andrew 18 putting on an impressive clinic here. Making the now former champion tap out. Wow. Yeah, making it look easy too. Like, not much of a struggle there. Even with Jinx at ringside, I mean, Andrew yeah, that 18 was the, did get here on the match. ridiculous merit. Went through trials and tribulations to get to this match and was attacked by a kendo stick by that weird thing standing at ringside. And still, none of that, none of that was able to put her down. And uh, she is now the new Super Number Champion of the world. The entire planet. Za. Oh, uh, every time? You, you can say it every time? Yeah. Okay. I'm just figure that way I know now. To avoid that. <laughs> so, what an opening contest here. Injured 18. Uh, I think she lost to Jin Erso at the last. at Mega Mania for the title. 
But uh, now she's just getting a win. But she got here on merit. She was not. She was not given the shot. She earned it. Unlike flu shots, which you are given and administered, you only earn those. And then you get autism. Whoa, PC principal again with. What? Are because stay away from political so, topics. A, a middle-aged middle soccer mom told me that they do, so it has to be true. Now, is they thinking of vaccines? Flu shots. Yeah, that's what a flu shot it. is. No, they make your kids gay. Flu shots make your kids gay. They're talking about oh, at okay. birth. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought that was the I thought that was the chemicals in the water. Oh, you're right. Oh, oh, was it the frogs? Weren't the frogs doing that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The chemicals in the water turns the frogs gay. Yeah. Oh, Alex so Jones. So the, the flu shots. The flu shots make the kids gay. Yeah. And then vaccines give your kids autism. Adam Weight Championship match. So if your kid's a frog and you give him water, flu shots, and vaccines, then he'll be super gay autistic. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, no. That's why we're not my, my earpiece blowing up from PC principal. That's why we're not sponsored right there. Ryan single handedly <laughs> driving away potential revenue streams. What? I'm not yeah. saying it's like bad or anything. Yeah, unlike <laughs> unlike Thunder, which will have an upcoming sponsor. Yeah, it's true. I like, I like gay people. Do you want a bigger shovel or do you just want to stop digging? Your choice. What? What? So how, Here's how your shovel. shovel I like gay oh. people. I think you have to say it, you know. It's one of those things where if you if you have to say it, it, is it really true? If you have, yeah, <laughs> you know, just that's I feel like maybe getting a little defensive. Sometimes, sometimes you do have to say it because people will accuse you of not being like it. Here comes Joey Wheeler, who is as always just more excited than I am to be here. Look at him go, not even to the rhythm of the music at all. But he doesn't give a shit. He's here, overcome. That's what. His own. Well, that's why you're, you're the heel commentator, Ryan. Yeah, you gotta hate on him quick. Hey, boo him, yeah, Ryan. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, boo. He's a heel commentator because water gay autism. <laughs> water gay <laughs> water autism. Gate? Man, I'm so glad that we're not on Twitch. We'd be a viral tweet right now by some somebody who uh, has dealt with that particular ailment in her life. Calling himself being insensitive. Yeah, someone from Flint, Michigan. Listen, they don't stay still enough water, which is ridiculous. Yeah, Please. because I haven't had a hardship before, I'm sure. I had a hardship once. Here comes Darth Maul, current Adam White champion. Now, Darth Maul and Joe Wheeler have been going after each other. Your hardship crashed into an iceberg and broke the iceberg. I say, most ships are pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> These two have been going at it for quite some time, and uh, you know, they're, they're another another chapter in their epic is their match tonight. And I'm glad to see that uh, Malik does not have anyone by his uh, ring, by his uh, at ringside. Who would he have? Mr. Meeseeks, uh, any uh, one of the Darth Maul stable, the Darth stable. Who would he have? Me seeks no, anyone no, no, else? No, no. That's who you would have from his stable. Who would he have? Oh me? Um Joey. I got Joey. That's not what I was asking, but alright. What? Wait, what? Sorry, I zoned out for a second. I know, Ryan. Your whole, it's been the last eight years of your life. Adam Wayne title on the line. <laughs> alright, so uh, Ryan is Joey. Andy, who do you got? I too have the wheeler of Joey. Ryan's a heel commentator because he doesn't pay attention. Everybody hate on him. I think that's gonna snowball, and you're gonna keep saying. Everyone, if you uh, if you don't like me, uh, if you think I'm a heel commentator and you really don't like me, send some crazy frog memes to Steve at Magnitude on Twitter. Uh, Thank you. Twitter link is in the description. Just send me, yeah, send me crazy frog memes. I don't know. I don't know what. The, I don't know. <laughs> me me getting a tweet doesn't alter the trajectory of my day. I don't. I don't understand. It's okay. Get a notification. You're gonna click on it. And you're just gonna be like, ming, 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 ba, ding, ding, ding. You think, you think I have my sound on my phone on a regular basis? Maybe you probably yeah, you a... left it up. If you had your cell phone on, uh, not on mute. Yeah, come on. Oh, we got some acrobatic wrestling by Darth Malik. Then you'll get fired. 
Corporate's going to call and be like, you have crazy frog memes on your phone. You're fucking fired. <laughs> your memes are too dank. Oh. So 2017, Andy. What a maneuver of side breaker there by Darth Malik. What, kids don't say dank no more? They do. You're, dank you, you're 32, though. You know. Yeah. You got a point. Kids do. Kids say it, Andy, but not adults. All right. You're an adult. At the risk of sounding creepy, I am in touch with the younger generation. Risk? Uh, heated? And... <laughs> uh, you know, failed, I guess. You... I don't like being a part of this anymore, guys. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. I'm, done. <laughs> I'm just gonna take off the and headphones. And that's the way the news goes. I'm just gonna take off the headphones now, and I think I'm just gonna... Uh, Joe Wheeler in the top row! Oh, complete and utter dissatisfaction. It's Joe Wheeler, man. He's second best at everything he does. Oh, but you is terrible in the magnation. Man, I tell you, if Joey and Merrick dueled him in a tabletop game, Joey would have won. That's all I'm saying. I guess he wouldn't have fallen because he's unconscious. Fuck with that shit. Yeah. Joey Wheeler, though, he is feeling something in his shoulders. Whether it's dandruff, or perhaps, you know... A sense yeah, of victory. What a puts a, a right handed punch. Taking down Darth Malik. Look at the leg. New champion won. I just I don't know why I said I made it in the match. Just add a little drama that wasn't there. And now the classic. Sorry, manufactured drama is drama nonetheless. It still has the word drama in it, so it's classified as drama, I believe. Indeed. Joe Wheeler, though, trying to take his frustrations out on Darth Malik, who has done nothing but assault and abuse over the past two and a half months. Especially throwing him into the non-denominational shadow region. Trademark free shadow region. There you go. I got you. You know, the funny thing is, is that whenever I think about what what I call that, like outside of this, I can never think about it. But as soon as like I half think about it, I do. It's great. It's a very specific superpower that my, my memory has. Very oddly specific. Very. Yeah. Like indeed. A little snap man with Earth Malik. We've seen a Ross line. Lost Brian. Wow. Why no, you just... A bummer. Uh, I got him in a headlock still. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, too many lost Ryan. No, I mean, <laughs> you're a heel. Yeah, you brought the heel commentator because he fucking sits there. He doesn't even say anything, but then he does. He says, "I'm color confident." Just yeah. top rope, Malik. <laughs> Dive. He doesn't he say anything, and then he does talk. What a heel commentator. <laughs> Russian leg sleep of the side. Shame! Line. Shame! Schrodinger's teal. Like He's... the cat? Yeah. yeah. He's both there and not there at the same time. Yeah. Indeed. Until you look in that box. Ryan, what's in the box? What's in the box? Go to the top rope, it's, Joey it's, Wheeler. It's his pregnant wife's head. Spoilers to a movie Spoilers. we didn't mention. Yeah. <laughs> Flying. What a DDT by Joey Wheeler. Ow. Will Goodness not gracious. be overshadowed by the seven reference we just made. The oh, seven I references. Uh, well, you know, what a boot by Joey Wheeler. The Brooklyn boot. The red eyes black dragon. What do you call the flaming sword of battle? What? <laughs> Two, no, near fall. I think I want to perpetually just call his moves just different cards he has all the time. Never the same one. That would kind of be Joey Wheeler in a nutshell anyway. Just, just. But I can't make those references. I don't get it. It's just what you red, just... eye, red eyes, black dragon. The sword's gonna land. Does Joey have one of the god cards? Uh, no, he's got the fang, the fang of Critias though. Okay, I don't know what that is, but yeah, that's alright. Does he have Dark Magician? Where is he no, the Claw of Airmos? I don't remember. He has no, he has Red Eyes, Black Dragon. That's it. He won from Rex so, Raptor. So if Yugi has Slifer and uh, Kaiba has Obelisk, who has a uh, Raw? Merrick. Merrick has Raw. Oh, okay. Had Raw. I, I... And he lost it in Duel. Oh, to who? Yugi. Who else? Oh. Oh, so uh -oh. Yugi has two of them? Yugi has all of them. Actually, he has none of them. Are we talking? At what point? This, hold on. The sister, the sister Padme, Padme using the ropes for leverage. Holding onto the ropes. Two. Joey's oh, still able to get his shoulder up. Darth Malak is beside himself. 
Inconceivable, he yells like that one actor who always yells inconceivable. Oh. Inconceivable! Uh, Ryan, at what point are we... Are we At the end of the series, Yugi has both all and none of the God card. He had them all and then used them to open a portal to send uh, the Pharaoh back home. Uh, oh, okay. There you go. Top rope. I don't think I ever watched watch that. You should. You really Beckett. should. Top rope. Middle rope. Darth Malik. Girl, what the fuck? Boo! Even uh, worse because uh, it's on the second uh, rope. Oh! Go for an elbow and Joey out of the way. The expert maneuver by Joey Wheeler. Oh, snap me, everybody. I definitely recommend watching it. The uh, fifth season or the fourth season with the, the, the legendary dragons is a little. The plot is kind of dumb, but the duels are really cool. That's the important part. But the plot is really dumb. All right, the plot is one of the. It's really, really dumb. But the duels is, are kind of. Is that cool. the one where um where they're fighting like the the the, the business people or whatever, and they're like no, dressed that's, up? That's the as virtual world. Other... Okay. It's in the virtual world, which is just like filler. That's that's what that is. But it's still kind of. Oh, the legendary. Okay, yeah, no, that's where like like Yugi, uh, Kaiba, and Joey each like go to like the the dragon place yeah. where like yeah. the dual monsters are. Okay, yeah. It's some of the the plots are really the plots just fucking stupid. Like the way they connect the characters is just, just the dumbest. It's so dumb. Is, we'll talk about that next. Is it match. just like a? Is, is it just like a localization thing? No, we'll like talk about English it. No, 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 we'll talk about it in the next match. That's all. Joe Wheeler, oh. top rope. Flying. Dropkick misses. Misses. He's up pretty quickly, though, so good on him for doing that. Darth Malik. Rebound. Into the corner. Malik being placed so gently and carefully on the top rope. Joey Wheeler going to join him on the top rope. Uh-oh. Top rope. Back superplex. Ooh. Joey Wheeler putting his life and limb on the line to win back his Adam Way title. Going for hook of the leg. One. Two. Yeah. Near fall again. Cannot put this man away. And Joey Wheeler cannot believe it. He thought that was it. He needs to trust in the heart of the cards. He's got to do, do it for his sister, Serenity. She needs that operation. Oh, like the TV show? Nope, like his sister's name was Trinity. She needed an operation. That's why he dueled in the first season. To win money. I'm sorry, operation. that's the movie. Another DDT! By Joey Wheeler. A top rope DDT. The crowd loving it. How can he not? Hometown hero, I guess. Um, we're probably in Brooklyn, right? I don't know. Hey, yo, everywhere is Brooklyn. Hey. Joe Wheeler, the flaming sword of battle. The time wizard. Other cards that he has. Garuzis, cover one. Two. That's it. Woo! Joey hey. Wheeler. Hey, hey forget about it. Joey Wheeler winning back his Adam Way title and doing so with two of those. Call it the, uh, I don't know, the, the Shield and Sword, the Flame Swordsman, the whatever else you want to call it, whatever. Swordsman of Lane's Star. That one. Uh, Red Eyes, Black Dragon. Alligator Sword, Thousand Dragon. It's got a million of them. Salamandra. The Fiend Mega Cyber used that card once. Polymerization? Necomon. Harpy. Necomon. Necomane King. He used that card once, too. I don't even know what that is, but okay. Yeah. You know, they always create cards that, like, they have to exist for them to survive that particular moment. That was one of those cards. <laughs> Uh, Dekus X Machina, but um, boom. Pretty much. But it was, uh, I really love the show. I watch it like every year, I watch it every once. I'd really like to do a voice in a Yu Gi Oh! series. I think that'd be pretty cool. That would be really cool. But Joey Wheeler, even cooler, once again, Adam Way champion. And this time. Just, I, mean, it. I mean, well, I mean, there's already like Yu Gi Oh! bridged, so like. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, that's what. Gonna, yeah. yeah. Tag Team Championships now. The Five Knuckle Shufflers. Uh, not having a good month. Losing in singles no. matches, being assaulted by men people with with sticks and stuff. <laughs> but, can just take a popular weapon? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's cheap and it's easy. You know, it's everywhere. You can and sneak, also it doesn't burn. You can sneak on a subway. You know, it's great. Going up again to the Solar Society, who got back here uh, after losing at Mega Mania, be winning a triple threat match. Uh, well, Moon Knight did, and he won a triple threat match to get his team back here. So now they're going to fight for once again their tag team titles. But anyway, let's talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 4. 
Uh, it's got a lot of got a lot of issues. Yeah. We're gonna address those right now. Yeah, cause like um, cause like I know like in five Ds, like you said, uh, you were the one that told me this. Uh, one of the characters like dies near the end, but in the English version, they completely like cut that part. Correct. Out. That is that is correct. One character dies because he loses all of his life points in the duel. He gets a thing strapped to his chest that's got a spike that's set up to a life point timer or life point counter, and when it hits zero, it just drove through his heart and he killed him. Japanese version, of course. No, but season four of Yu-Gi-Oh! Very good duels because they get better as it goes on. But this uh, plot is probably uh, the dumbest ever. Um, the guy's name is Darts, which bothers me because he's supposed to be ten thousand years old. So that's not really a ten thousand year old name. Darts. Darts. D a d a r t z is his name. Darts. I figured. There was a Z at the end. Uh, I think that's so. the main character from Legend of Dragoon. Dart? Oh, I love that game. That's Dart. That's just a. Oh, this... Dart? Okay. Dart yeah. is also a character in Fire Emblem. Anyway. It's not the same guy. So, uh, I guess what happens is. So here's the five knuckle stuff for first, though. When Skeeter Valentine's really fucking excited. Look at him. He is psyched. Look at him. He's happy to be your back to back pay per views on defending the tag team titles. He's, just, he's living the dream. Living the dream! Those beautiful titles. Beautiful titles. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, I guess what happens is that Darts just buys Kaiba's company. Because uh, that's the thing that's allowed in that universe. You can just... You can just buy... <laughs> just become a monopoly. Yeah, you can just buy a, a company. I don't know... I, I don't know how that happens. Uh, possibly they explain it, but I don't think they do. But it's the second time in that series that it's happened uh and then so darts all right so darts has this card called seal of Ori okay and yeah and the loot it gives the whoever uses it like fucking retardedly good bonuses it's just stupid but the loser uh loses their soul right and they're supposed to feed this like mythic like leviathan that exists in like the shadow universe that like feeds on the souls of the duelists who lose to it because dark's trying to bring it back because dark's is going to destroy the world with it and then make the world reborn without trash humans cool okay so we're still talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! season four here this is gonna be a long Yu-Gi-Oh! season four mm -hmm. discussion who do you guys think that was match, also first of that's all? also the arc where um where like Yugi like pretty much almost kills Weevil by having his uh, yes his yes monster attack over and over yes right? yeah. uh who do you guys get winning this match um I'll go with the five knuckle shufflers yeah uh I will go against you because I think <gasps> your streak Trainer. of two in a row is gonna come to an end and I will go with the Solar Society just for the same just for the fact that Matt there's a pharaoh in the head yeah, yeah, yeah. there is a pharaoh in the head of and we're, not talking, yeah. we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! right now anyway, so Pharaoh's a good, good choice. So. There you go. Darts has these people that, uh, I'm going to use the term work for him, but, you know, whatever. And they all, for whatever Slaves. reason. They all, for whatever reason or another, hate a member of the, um, well, sorry, I'm going to phrase that. They've all had, like, a, again, I'm going to use the word Slaves. tragedy, befall mm -hmm. upon them. That makes them like dislike humanity. So um, I want to just get. I'm just going to tell you the dumbest one because it's the dumbest one. It's this dude Alistair. Is it no, it's this dude okay. Alistair. And Alistair really hates Kaiba because in whatever nation that Alistair once resided in was. Oh yeah, I know this from Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. Yeah, it was a nation that like Kaiba's stepdad like took over with tanks because i guess yeah i guess he both owns a gaming company and can declare war <laughs> i guess he has that ability to do that i don't that's like if nintendo declared war on right the United States. and like the dude's tanks like killed his brother or something i, I, I uh, uh, that's why he hates kaiba and then when you think about it <clears throat> you really think about it if like sure like kaiba shouldn't pay for his stepdad's misdeeds but like the dude's brother died, and Kaiba doesn't show any sympathy at all. Even though Kaiba's yeah, entire character like, arc... Stop about your brother. Even though his entire but character arc is about uh, him protecting his brother, it's very... 
dumb the reason that they hate each other it's just it's really stupid <laughs> and then like Raphael like was a rich person and he was on a yacht and the yacht wrecked kind of and he was the only one that didn't die from the yacht but he was stuck on an island and he would just play with his Yu-Gi-Oh cards all the time and he'd duel himself yeah and then, you know what they say if you duel yourself and then what uh Valen, the other one, got put in, like, a juvenile detention center for, like, stealing or something. But, okay, so that happens, right? And then you find out that, apparently, uh, we're just gonna ignore that happened. Boo! Another one! <laughs> Appar Boo! Apparently, darts, like, manipulated the universe to make these bad things happen to these what kids. The what? Alright, I'm using the term manipulated the universe in, like, a grandiose way. But he, like, made the cruise ship crash, and he, like, made sure oh okay i see what you mean yeah not like physically like but he apparently saw enough of potential in these small children to literally change the outcome of their life so then they would start to hate the world and then he would be right there to you know uh get them on his side it's, it's like he found like a five-year-old and went, you know, this kid has got some anger in him. I'm gonna wreck his fucking cruise ship. So he's stuck on an island for two months. It's just dumb. And then at one dumb. point, oh, hot tag, hot tag, hot tag. Right now, oh, negated with the Luthez press. Yeah, Luthez himself. Fan of that one. It's just dumb. And then at one point, the Pharaoh like steals the Seal of Calculus card from Raphael and then uses it and then loses. Even though he never had to... Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole point, like, like if he stole that card for, like, in the game, like, using the exchange card, and then just never played it and still lost the duel, nothing would have happened. So he didn't... Yeah, and, then, and then Yugi gets lost because of yeah, that, right? Yeah, and then at the end they duel darts, and darts is, like, the most overpowered deck in the history of mankind. The, my, my biggest problem, I think, with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole is that... All these cards had to, like, exist somehow, right? Like, yeah. like that means they had to become, they had to go in the circulation and be made, yet the rules Somebody change. Somebody had to point to them. Right, like, but, but the rules of the game, like, literally change between seasons one and two. Like, before see Battle City, there was no, like, tributing monsters or attacking directly or anything like that. But then for Battle City, there's all these cards that adhere to those rules now, and... Why? <laughs> Why do they yeah, now you, exist? You can, you can just attack the moon. <laughs> oh, season one logic. If season, if, if season yeah. one existed by itself, it still would have been awesome. But because Battle City happened, backbreaker. Back yeah, well, Yu-Gi-Oh! The, the original manga like had nothing to do with the card games. Like, it was just one small little side art. And they decided the to make manga. card games. How about a suplex? Oh, no. Counter. Right in the gut by Moon Knight. And then that... The uh, aside to Yu-Gi-Oh has ended, so but that's that's that. Now let's talk about Digimon. Top rope. Digimon, still my favorite kid show. From when I was a kid, uh, I have such mm -hmm. fond memories of that show. Yeah, I, I recently watched the English dub of like the recent uh, the, the the Digimon Adventure Try, mm -hmm. and like I like it. Like some of the voices are kind of off because they had to replace some of the voice actors, mm -hmm. like um. They kept some of the original ones, like they kept Tai. Hurricane Rana. Yeah, they kept uh, Thanks. Tai, Thanks. Sora, Mimi, Agumon, uh, Patamon, Gomamon. So most like, of them. They, they, yeah, yeah, they kept most of them. Double like, Underhook. Uh, what a like suplex. They, get, they got Johnny Springboard. Young Bosch voicing TK. <laughs> Cover. Hook of the leg by Saitama. One. Nope. I was like oh. one and three quarters. I just, I just thought it was an odd casting choice that they got Johnny Young Bosch to voice TK. I know him. Busted open. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, he played um, he played Adam Park in Power Rangers, and then he's also the voice of uh, Ichigo from Bleach. Oh, okay. Yep. That's um, it. I got it. He voices uh, oh, hold on, I gotta look it up. Here comes Skeeter I'm Valentine sorry. now. The five knuckle shufflers have been on the offensive. Uh, I said that immediately as Skeeter gets shoulder block. Well, they haven't been controlled this match lately, I'll tell you that. Well, Fireman's a character by Skeeter Valentine. Um, he voices Sasori and Naruto? I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, 
Yeah, Here comes Satama again. Gonna fly, That's courtesy. Courtesy of Skeeter Valentine. Moon Knight is almost begging for a tag right now. Oh, you saw Pokemon Origins, right? Yep. What a he miss! Miss! He voiced Brock. He went for it all and, uh. Oh, the. What are you doing, Captain Planet? <laughs> oh, no, double no. leg drop. Yeah, the boom splash through the cover by Captain Planet. One, two, near fall, two. Oh, Moon Knight's really trying to get the crowd in this match here. It's he weird. needs to get in. It's weird to see. What a slap by Saitama. It's weird to see such, such positive energy coming from Moon Knight. Well, well they finally gelled as a team. Yeah, loss, man. It, uh, going through adversity. What a punch! Adversity makes bonds grow stronger. How about a rope break for you? But here comes Skeeter Valentine, nonetheless. Oh, oh, neck breaker. Neck Hurricane Rana by Saitama. Staying on top of Captain Planet, the bloody Captain Planet. Yeah, he is now busted open. Oh, I'm not feeling too good, you guys. But I have a sweet mullet. Springboard Hurricane Rana there. No one's got a sweet mullet, Andy. No one's got a sweet mullet. <laughs> By right. your powers combined, I have the sweetest mullet ever. No, they should combine their powers and get a, like, a nice haircut. What a... Just five <laughs> knuckles to the forehead. <laughs> By our powers combined, we got you this uh, kitchen jump get to super cuts. Oh, they got a, they, yeah, they got it with two thirty point man super cuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask for Randy. It's a girl. What? Oh! A kick? <laughs> Where is Moon Knight? Hook of the leg. One, two. What a save oh! by Saitama. Oh, flying Just from, getting in there. Flying in from out of nowhere, Saitama to save the match. And her, it's Hurricane Rana. And he's taking on both of them at the same time. He is. Get him out of there, Raditz. Get him out of there. <laughs> what is going on with Skeeter Valentine? He is still riding, barely moving on the ground. And he is slow oh, to his feet. Captain Planet is just trying to gain his composure. Yeah, he after. The blood trickling into his eyes. Making quite the mess. Oh, DDT. that's not going to help. Go for that pin. One, two, near fall. Moon Knight looks like over there. He is definitely hurting. And he has done nothing in the past two to ten minutes of this match. He got assaulted by, by Saitama. Assaulted. Ass alted. I'm in the wrong corner there, Skeeter Valentine. He's taking the time to methodically destroy his opponent. He is. He's showing a ferocity that I had not once known. What a chop. Oh, <laughs> The brute. Made someone spill their change. Yeah, that was. Oh, oh no, that's just me playing with the supporters. Well, don't. Here comes Moon Knight. Skeeter Bell's not trying to crawl away. What a counter there by Skeeter. He's going to continue his onslaught onto the Solar Society as a squad. The Mensa level intelligence coming into effect. That's right. Mosquito Valentine. Oh, going for a kick, but he missed. <laughs> Mosquito. Moon Knight, the final cut, I believe that's called. It's still not enough. He needs to pull out that pharaoh. Holy pull out the fuck, damage. there's a pharaoh living in his head. That's Skeeter bringing him to... On his shoulders, Ooh, Falcon Arrow. Crazy. Moon Knight, former, former member of the Nation of Carbon Nation of Cover 1. 2... Captain Planet saving the match. Former contender uh -oh. for the blue title. Uh-oh. Skeeter Valentine now bleeding from that elbow by Captain Planet. And Captain Planet got a reverse Frankenstein and rolls his ass out of the ring. He is incapacitated at the moment. He is. This is all Moon Knight. Mid a rope. Here comes Saitama in the hot tag. What a clothesline. Drop kick by Saitama. Going for a punch. Missing, but Moon Knight there. Nice little low kick. What a knee to the jaw. And now taunting the crowd, really starting to turn on their uh, original opinion of the Solar Society. They're really getting behind this team here. They realized that streak was no fluke. They're witnessing greatness here. The power of Moon Knight. What a close. Oh, Bulldog. Take a drink. Stand of the ring. Both tag team members are just 
laying on the outside of the ring. They have, they're have they putting their bodies on the line tonight. This is the time to end it. Pull out all the stops. Every stop. Time travel. Moon-based projectiles. The fair living in your head. All of it. With moon-based <laughs> projectiles. Pull out the Torah, because you are the one Jewish super, uh, superhero out there. Another slap. I'm sure it's more. Reverses his right. opponent. I'm sure it's more. Back suplex. Right. Skeeter Valentine. Suplex. Slowly rising to his feet now. Captain Planet still woozy. Yeah, both of them are. Both of the, the partners not in the match. Oh, but Saitama going to launch Moon Knight over the rope. Quick on the chops to follow there. It gets reversed. Moon Knight has the wherewithal. To get punched Flip right out. in the head. In the face. Oh, full, full Nelson overhead suplex. Yeah, what a, what impact there on the outside. Dropping that elbow. Now, if there's a double count out, the uh, champions do retain the title, so. If there's a count out, period, they retain the title. That's true. Can't lose house on a count out. Or disqualification. Oh, into the steps. Right into the stairs. Ouch. Moon Knight, or Captain Planet, carefully. Finally we waking up. Doesn't want to get his team to get disqualified here. Because he is not a legal man, no matter where the match is taking place. Her came out right in the steps. Get Captain Planet, Planet trying to get a move fruitlessly, in. yeah, trying to trying to help out his partner. Uh, he's just really he's really got that uh, the blood from the head. It's really starting to affect him now. Saitama, a bit winded. A bit winded. This match has been going on for a good 15 to 20 minutes. That is quite the window there. Quite the time frame. What a punch! Oh, oh there it is! The one punch that can end it all. Like Captain Planet, you gotta get in there. You Two! Bitch. He does. He does. But Skeeter, what a hurricane run there by Saitama. Pays the price. Oh, Saitama springboard and hits! Ooh, nice. He's off the ropes, dropping that double axe handle. Right on the, the weakened knee of Moon Knight. I thought you'd try to end it there after that, that springboard splash, but uh, not the case. This is now the fight. Uh-oh, Moon Knight fighting back. I was about to say, that one maneuver could have ended it right there. That tag team maneuver was big enough. As he drags him to the corner, that is empty. Yeah, Captain Planet now, just still on the outside of the ring, trying to rekindle that, uh, that fighting spirit within him. And he is completely on the wrong side of the ring. He's got to get himself over to his designated corner. What impact on the forehead to the cover? One, two, that's it! What? What? Wow. That's it! After all that punishment that Moon Knight took uh, outside the ring. Yeah, able to overcome that. Apparently it was not that. enough to do it, yeah. The Solar Society once again reclaiming their tag. We've had three title changes out of three matches tonight. It's like Mega Mania all over again. I was about to say, yeah, it's Shades of Magna Mania. We had, what, we had, what, ten title changes? It was crazy. Absolute, it's deja vu all over. Absolute insanity. As the Solar Society uh, winning their tag team titles back going to really put a wrinkle in uh, what Darth Malak is attempting to do. And Scorpion in 13, of course, but, you know, it's really going to put a, uh... Yeah, that was more of a thrown-together tag team right there. I mean, uh, is it, though? We don't I know. I mean, and, uh, I mean, come on, Scorpion can do so much better. I think he's got a, I think he's more got a... Mr. Future. Martin in the Bank? 13 started uh, his career, like, 6-0. It's crazy. It's crazy. Solar Society, though, once again, tag team champions, and uh, this this feud has not ended as well. We've got some back and forth going, and definitely, fuel has only been added to this fire. Indeed, but... <laughs> oh, oh, I'm as a living savior. You have, you were, you, were break, you were breaking up there, but I'll, I'll say what you were going to say in, in less... Less enthusiasm. The Solar Flare Championship. Now, Yusuke defeating... So, Yusuke losing to Zamasu, but then defeating Jesus, uh, which put him in this triple threat match for the title, which Zamasu defeated Jesus for at Mega Mania. So, it will be a triple threat match. And uh, with Zamasu, his first official defense, and we'll try to do so uh, against Jesus and Yusuke Yurameshi, former tag team champion, former... Inter-Universal Champion, almost called that. 
in Yusuke Urameshi. So he's got some some accolades. He's got some clout. I'm yeah, that's the only reason why he's in this match. Otherwise, uh, you know, one match in and then gets a title shot. It's a little, uh, little shifty, a little shady. He answered the open call, the open challenge, all right? What, what do you want? What do I want, want something better. Anyone can answer that. How else would you like me to do a return, a long way to return? What do you want me to do? Huh? No, I just want I just want Jesus to not be emaciated. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should talk to him well, about make, that. Make, make him jacked and sexy. Yeah, rock me <laughs> sexy <laughs> Jesus. Rock me sexy Jesus. That should be his intro, even though his intro with music is always in, you know, the techno version of... Our God uh, is an awesome God, of course. That's it. <laughs> great, <laughs> great tune. As you listen to it right now, it's getting you hyped. Right, you have that laugh like you think I'm trying to joke. Jesus. That is what, what his theme song is. It's not a joke. <laughs> I know it's good, though. Yeah. Um, it's been like... As he blesses his fan. Five years. It's, it's fantastic. God is an awesome God. Yeah, just set, but set to trap music. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I found that. I thought it was gonna be like I thought it was gonna be like Superstar or something like that. No, it's our God is an awesome God. It's Techno Remix. That's what it is. By the way, uh, NBC is gonna be doing a live uh, a live performance of Jesus Christ Superstar, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. During the Olympics. Um, no, it's, it's actually I an Olympic it, event. I think it's gonna ah, be a March. sweet. We're totally gonna win that, unless you're, unless like you know the Jerusalem team shows up. Yep, the team from just Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is wrestling still in the Olympics, or do they take it out for fucking golf? Not in the snowy Olympics. It should be. <laughs> the outdoor wrestling. Why are things like figure skating and gymnastics? In the They've been in there for a while. Yeah, but the entire thing is just, it's, there's no score. It's whatever these people at a table, how, how well they think you did. Uh, it's to make women feel important. I Every mean, four years. Well, no, the, no, there's male figure skaters, though. So. There is. So it's to make the gay community feel important. I mean, no, they're, they're totally straight. Remember how we, we didn't have sponsors and we still don't? Yeah, Andy. Oh, PC principal coming down. All right. All those who were PC left a long time ago. You ready for the Keel. greatest entrance of all time? Are you ready? Sure. For the greatest entrance of all time. There he is. There he is. Whoa. There he is. Your solar flare KFC. champion. Juxtaposed to the KFC logo. <laughs> <laughs> Zamasu eats KFC. So should you. His hair is so shiny. It's a universe ending good. Look at him. And now the platform lowers as your champion descends upon his people. Yeah. What, what's Zamasu's entrance music? Uh, his, his own theme song. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it works out wonderfully. Cause it's very, it sounds really cool. So. It is the most epic theme song right now. Can you not hear it, Ryan? Yeah, it's we are live. He's literally descending. What? He's literally descending what? to I grace, grace us peasants with his immaculate presence. Dare I say his glorious presence. Yeah, people are losing their shit right now. I'm surprised you can even hear it. Literally, there are thieves going around the stadium taking people's stuff. They're losing oh, their the shit, way, the, Ryan. The, the English dub of Dragon Ball Super just started the Zamasu art. For those of you who want to watch it, because you can learn from the English dub. Me. Me. <laughs> Look at that is your solar for champion, Ryan. Show a little more respect, huh? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. respect. Throw I'm some sure more respect on that. Like take how much respect you got and throw some more on there. Throw respect. Right? There's the moon like, there, cause why not? Why not? Why not? Because he help, he makes the ocean ebb and flow. I'm so pumped with Zam Zamasu's success. <laughs> okay, he's gonna say, choose your words carefully here, Nasty. I'm so pumped with Zamasu's penis. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, sorry, I meant his title reign. I get it's confused all the time. They're both like they're both like they're both long and impressive. You know what I mean? 
I, you know, I stand by that joke. Fuck off. All right. <laughs> that's a Crickets. good one. That's a good one. I stand by that. <laughs> that's okay. I think I'm getting sick. Good. Fuck you. Here's Zamasu now. There's Jesus in the back. Yeah, I hope you got the super flu. Yusuke in the no. front. Super Saiyan 2 flu. It's, <laughs> it's, it's stronger, but it spreads it spreads a little slower, but it's stronger. Yeah, it takes a little time to kick in. Yeah, and then Super Saiyan 3 flu, you grow like a foot and a half. It's crazy. Or you vomit farther, like more golden-like as well. It's weird how that works. Yeah, and Super Two, Saiyan 4 flu. One. The Super Saiyan 4 <laughs> flu, you literally just, uh, the blankets yeah, yeah. you have been wrapping yourself <laughs> in become, become a, a part monkey. of you. It's sexy. Air yeah. grows in all the wrong. You hit puberty stage two. Puberty stage two. Your voice deepens. The hair in your chest. It's super Saiyan blue flu. <laughs> uh, it's where you become Skeeter Valentine. And <laughs> <laughs> to get mental level intelligence. Who do you guys have winning this match? Jesus, my boy Jesus. No way is fucking Stigmata Jesus going to win this. No way. Young, young Jeezy is the call. <laughs> Zamasu just going to taunt in the corner. Uh, oh, I'm going with uh, Zamasu. Just because I can't pick anybody else. You don't think Yusuke can win this title? He does not deserve to be there. He did not earn it. You do not believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Crimini himself? Well, Jesus Christ over there is going to be losing too much blood from that crown of thorns. Listen, man, we're all going to die someday, go to the pearly gates, and Jesus is going to ask you why you did not pick him to win this little title <laughs> match. He invades Ninja Gnosis too, and that is going to be why <laughs> you spend an eternity burning and writhing in pain. And I'll tell him straight what? to his face is because he left the gym and did, lost his swole. <laughs> Jesus, listen. Planet Fitness is only nineteen ninety nine a month. They're open twenty four hours a day. Get the black card. You can bring a friend with you. But I must feast on wine and bread. They sell that there. Probably the black card to get our discount. You can bring a friend, Jesus. You can bring Paul. That wasn't possible, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Right. He's one of the. He's one of the Beatles. <laughs> my uh, crossbody. Hits him up. My son. My son, why did you not choose me to win at Battle of Geonosis? Invasion of Geonosis, too. Geonosis. Invasion, whatever. <laughs> whatever. And at that point, he's going to say, to be honest with you, I didn't think Clone Wars was the strongest. Why is a heel wrestler? wrestler? Because he can't even fucking pronounce words right. Heel! A wrestler commentator. Heel! Well, Zamasu is writhing in pain on the outside of the ring. And Jesus is going to go over there and inflict some more, I think. Digmata Jesus is going to get that Spear of Destiny blood all over everybody. DDT! Vintage rock. Vintage. Oh. Uh-oh. In the announce table. Float over. DDT on the outside. Still Where's waiting it? for our first break of a table in 2K18. Yeah. The most useless move in wrestling. We are still Jesus waiting. probably build a table to break through. <laughs> Stigmata Jesus running ruckshot over his opponents. Why do you keep calling him Stigmata Jesus? <laughs> because he's got the stigmata. He's got like the blood on his hands from where he was crucified and everything. Like this is oh, him. Jesus. No, because there's different Jesuses. Jesus I. This is Stigmata Jesus who is all wiry and horrible. And then there's Rock Me Sexy Jesus who was the bomb. Giggity. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and, then the, and then there was, and of course, you guys can never forget the awkward 16 year old. Um, uh, you know, going squeaky, through a phase. Squeaky voice, Jesus, yeah. He was a really big My Chemical Romance fan, but he would not admit it in public. Uh, I will go with the darkest timeline, Jesus, because he a blue streak was put into his hair. That is some oh, deep touch right. right there. That's right. A crucifix by Zamasu. Haha, <laughs> on our Lord and Savior. That is the joke, yeah. Yeah. Let's keep joking about deaths of our prophets. Sure. Oh, I thought you were going to say community. I was about to say, I can throw community jokes at you all day. I'm of the opinion that the final season was one of the strongest seasons. Unpopular, I know. But I think it was, it was definitely... It was so well written, and the jokes were so good. It, it, the, the whole pacing of the, of the jokes were so much better in that season. 
Yes, they definitely went back to the silliness that was like season two. Yeah, but and it, it just, especially it just, when they're especially the grifting episode. The gri yeah, but even I'm saying every like all the the jokes like the um, the delivery of the jokes was so much better. The the, the pacing of them was was great. The time it was. I just I thought it was really good to cover one. Two, like it, I was didn't have the charm of the initial cast because some of them left and replaced with other people. Yeah, but, well, you can't replace freaking Childish Gambino and Chevy Chase. Did. You can't. But I yeah, just, Chevy Chase was just a dickhole though. But it was just I don't know, man. I just I think it was it was a very one of the best seasons. Of the final one. It, it just it worked so well. And I like the first episode, like the first scene of season. Like, we'll cover one when they first come back. The first scene, they like take a shot at the the writer of season four. <laughs> <laughs> I have never watched an episode of Community. Top oh, row. get Hulu. Elbow, what? right what? to you. Wow, devastating. Network was it on? Or it was like on NBC. NBC, uh, Yahoo. Oh. Yeah, it ended on Yahoo. Out, if it wasn't on Yahoo, it probably would still be going. Like, if say if Netflix or like whatever picked it up, oh man, it would still be running. Netflix picks up just about it. The cover one. It's it's a really uh, it's a good show. You gotta take it for a grain of salt though. Kind of, like, I think season four is like really terrible. Um, I don't know. Oh, they, what do they say? That's the gas leak year. Yeah, that's the gas leak year. And then D D uh, Danny Party just like he looks off the camera. He goes something about writing, just terrible, terrible writing. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. El Elroy Potashnik. Pile driver. That's, that's aggressive. Devastating. What a leg lariat. Mark Jesus rolling out the ring. Leg lariat by Yusuke. Dragging Zamasu. Hook of the leg. New champion one. How about a one count? Yeah, that's what you get. That was like barely any damage. Also, dude, the after the episode scenes of every episode of season six are so fucking funny. Holy shit. Did you watch any of those? Yeah, of course. The post credit scenes? Uh oh. We have the walls of insert wherever place he comes from here. Oh, there goes Raditz. Raditz is down. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. Well, he can't tap out if he. The ref can't call the match if he's not standing, I guess. So, what a strategy by Jesus. Instead of waiting for. Tragic. Instead of waiting for Zamasu to tap, he's just gonna knock the referee out so he can't even call it if he is. Raditz is just done. He is not moving. Bulldog. Into Raditz. Yusuke, the only man standing. Red still down. Zamasu trying to get to his feet. The code breaker. Jesus bleeding even more. <laughs> but Yusuke cannot go for the pin because there's no referee. Oh, Raditz starting to stand. Get out of there. He's, he's Zamasu not himself. bleeding. Yusuke had made them both lead in the cover. One, two, near, near fall. fall. Going for a Mexican surfboard almost. Yeah. Trying to stretch that wiry Lord and Savior. <laughs> trying like, to get Jesus like went for like a pin off of it. That was, that was not going to happen. <laughs> That's what that was. Elbow. You do the grifting episode was so good. <laughs> DDT. Hot. I get I get my little uh, four year old daughter to jump up and down saying hot dogs. Oh, God. Grifting. Buy a briefcase. <laughs> now we have two briefcases. Zamasu called for losing. something. Super kick. Oh. Hook of the leg, Yusuke down, one, two, oh! How did he kick out of that, you uh, wiry bastard? You've been losing a pint of blood this whole match. Yusuke, go for a cover, one, <laughs> two! No, oh god! <laughs> if you would've stole that win. Are, are we not gonna talk about that crotch chop that fucking Zamasu did? The crotch chop <laughs> that almost cost him a match. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> victim of another one! Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh oh. Yusuke taking advantage. Going for a cover on Zamasu. Oh, but a rope break. That's a real thing in a triple threat match. Triangle Zamasu trying to get a move in edgewise. I mean, 
Yusuke. Yusuke, that's, that's it. That's right, I got you. Neck breaker. Neck breaker. Going for the cover on Jesus now. Who's still laying there? One, two. That's it. Woo! Wow, man. That second super kick was really the finisher. Really put a number on Jesus. He was really put a nail in that coffin. Yeah. Yeah. It was like 40 seconds after the second <laughs> super kick. He was still down. It's that's somebody should medically check on Jesus at that point. You have a long time to be down. Hey, he has died. He has risen. He shall rise again. The power of the super kicks. Will. He's like a phoenix. Is that what he's like? So not real at all? Yeah. In the slightest? So incredibly hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Yeah, you, you rip it. No, incredibly good looking. Ah, oh, there's. There's Raditz being assaulted. That. By Jesus. By no one other than Jesus. Jesus, you know. Those those classic shenanigans, assaulting as a people. As Reddit, as Reddit hit the mat, he said, "Et tu, Jesus." <laughs> hey, hey. Well, what a match! Damasu does, in fact, retain to Andy. Three for three. Uh, Andy, a thousand. It's been four matches uh, though. So. Damn no, it! Four, no, no, you're four for four. Four for four! Eat it. Remember, you? Uh, I said the five knuckle shufflers would win, and then you went with the other two, and they ended up winning. Yes. No, Andy's voice has changed in inflection four times in the past minute. And here we are, guys. Super puberty. The main event this evening. The Demon Jin. Magnation Green title match on Devil Jin. Yeah, there you go. Devil Jin. Not Demon Jin. Devil Jin. Demon Chick Jin. Versus the Hulk, who, uh, well, he won the title on Mega Mania. So, we had three And we changes. have not seen him since. We have not. He has just been, uh, eating a lot, I would imagine, doing some push-ups and pull-ups. Uh, I know, I know, actually, well, in his defense, um, Civ uh, not angry. Civil War. Uh, Infinity War is coming out soon, so he's mm. got to do some filming. I must get to angrier. <laughs> No, uh, Ryan, the last season of the community, I want to bring up last time, but I don't want to talk over the, the possible name of the match. The last season of the community, after the, after the credits of the episode, they had, like, a, always, like, a mini sketch about, like, yeah. a minor character of that episode or something. So in one of the, uh -huh. in one of the episodes, they're, they're, like, transporting, like, the dean of the school bought a giant hand, like, a ridiculously huge, like, model hand. Yeah. But... Then everyone told them what a whole idea was. So they they sold on eBay to some guy, and they put it on top of an RV, and they're trying to like they're de delivering it to him. The van ends up breaking down. They never deliver the hand to him. So then a a after the episode's over, it just cuts to like a guy who's waiting for him to deliver his giant hand. So then like he's like on his computer, he's wondering where the hand is, and then like his wife walks in. And she gets upset about why he keeps like ordering giant items, and then he's like, "Because Karen, it's my fault that our son got taken away with a giant kite." And then, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Cut to a giant watch that he's put on the giant hand. Yep, yep. And he's he, she's like, he's like, I feel if I had a bigger hand, I could have saved him. And the wife's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, why'd you get this giant watch? And he's like, I thought oh, that would look cool. <laughs> the, here comes the Hulk. No, the end, the end of the episode sketches are, are the best. They're... Yeah, th that show is the epitome of comic irreverence. Yes, yes. There's... <laughs> what are there? There's a... There's one, one episode where... It, it, this, this, there's like there's one small part where there's this other character who helps out one of the characters, Jeff, and then in the in the closing after the after the credits, it turns out that like Jeff like once no this guy like once uh, oh, how was it um, oh Jeff like once like saved him from like choking on lunch food or something like that. So the dude's like uh, you know I whatever need Jeff I'll help you out. But I guess it's been like three years of Jeff asking him for favors, and the guy keeps hoping that Jeff is gonna finally tell him that they're even. Yeah, the guy. He saved him one day at his gym. Oh yeah, at a gym. That's right. That's right. That's right. He, it's always like it's just it's just so funny, man. It's just it's a good show. Good show. Yeah, sounds great. Season six, man. It's 
It's great. Yeah, if you don't laugh out loud by the end of the first episode of the first season, then just don't bother watching it. But the last fucking, one of the last fucking jokes of that, of that show just fucking got me. It's a great show. Main event time. Ladies and gentlemen, who do you have winning this match and why? I will go with the Hulk because he big and strong and he beat up my dad. Your dad? Yes. My dad is a bad man. Batman? Bad with a D as in Dickerson. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I, to go five for five, my bold prediction to go out on a limb are you, is are you scrolling the Hulk. The, are you scrolling to the end of the match to see who won? Is that what you're doing? Are you stalling? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, you guys didn't notice that we cut to the end of it. Because mm, yeah. we're all watching the same thing. You can, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you downloaded it on your free time. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, man. I downloaded that fast. I mean, got it's not that terrible. big. It's, not, it's a very small file. I, 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 render, I render out the rough copy to be, like, extremely small. I, that's why it looks like shit. That's why I can't, like... Code Breaker open the match! Wow! Jin, former Magnation Green Champion, trying to win his title back after he lost it, like so many others at Mega Mania. Like everyone! Uh, yeah, literally everyone. What an over wow. fisherman suplex there. Kicked up from a knee into a fisherman suplex. I mean, Devastating. Absolutely incredulous. I'm start, gonna start using adjectives incorrectly. That worked for you guys. Positively scrum trulescent. Effervescent. Look at, look, look at the exuberance of the Hulk right now. This is a very powerful, powerful submission hole, but. Jin fights out of it, and Hulk now a little reverse DDT there. With a horrendous reversal. Are we British now? Possibly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tea yes, and crumpets and all that. Cover one. What a one count. This match is far from over. All right. Get off me, step, you little cunt. <laughs> Always looking up the bloomers. <laughs> Stop be nicking me, Nickies! But I've been living them out on the line! <laughs> ah! Those are British soldiers dying in a Revolutionary War. That was my. <laughs> that was... Oh, good, that's why we won. Ah. That's my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded exactly like that. He got shot in the head and he went, ah! ah! Oh, bloody hell! Well, in this, he saw the musket flying at him because guns weren't really a thing back then. I imagine they went very slowly. Oh, yeah. He could just see death coming at him. Yeah, I was about to say, they just used to line up in front of each other and then reload yeah. and then fire. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Until somebody chickened out and ran away. Yeah, no, it was, uh, I think it was actually the, the Cologne. Was like did that like they started like hiding behind trees and stuff. They're yep. like, hey, that's not fair. Now line up and shoot us in the face. <laughs> the like, fuck um, you on Mel Gibson, bitch. Yeah, they're like, um, no, we're gonna shoot you from behind here so we don't die. And they're like, C -c can they do that? <laughs> I guess I, I don't know. know. Is, is there a rule book? That's what we've been doing for thousands of years. This is not proper warfare. I imagine before that they lined up and just like threw javelins at each other at the formations. <laughs> just... They they line up a bunch of like like trebuchets like in a <laughs> row and they lo load people up and like launch them at each other. They yeah, would just fuck, fucking fuck, stand fuck there. Fuck knives and swords <laughs> and. Shields. I think that I think that might have been a Simpsons joke. Somebody got into like a trebuchet and they launched it like right into a castle wall. <laughs> <laughs> the art of war, baby. Sun, Sun Tzu omitted the chapter of using people as uh, trebuchet ammo, but I'm sure that was... I'm sure that, that Giant was in... power bomb there from the Hulk. I'm sure that was in the first draft. The Hulk, again with that submission, going after the leg. A lot of maneuvers, he's just deadlifting him from the floor just to decimate him later. I mean, if you got the strength. Where are you going, Jin? 
Yeah, go take a break. Good job. Good try. Uh oh, he's about <laughs> to get power bombed. Right. Oh. Oh God. Oh. 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 Wow. Uh, Lord. Wow, we might need to censor that, folks. Fucking Hulk shows no mercy. Jin and he shows... still has to work with all the fucking and wand after that. Jin shows no tact. Another code breaker. Count it, too. Wow. There are no secrets safe from Jim as Jin as he's cracking all the... Why, why is this Devil Jin so fucking jacked? Uh, like, he's not normally supposed to be that muscular. Uh, he absorbed the demon chicken. Ryan, have you ever seen a Jim before? I, I have. And people, have access, people have access to them all the time. Okay. But, oh, Jim. I thought you said Jim. I was like, J yes, I've seen Jim. J-Y-H-M. Jim. 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 A gaim? Uh-oh. Jin, what is he going for? Just double knee, double drop kick or single drop kick, double feet to the corner. I've seen a gym before. That's where I got the oh, ball. Oh, leg bash. one. Tim? That's where I got the MRSA. MRSA is not fun. No one said it was. Okay. Hulk out of the way, using that speed, and what a takedown! Oh, the Hulk. I remember MRSA was kind of a, a problem back in high school when I was in wrestling. Like they ha like you had to take like since MRSA had started to like we had like kind of a bit of an outbreak, so like they had to like really really wipe the mats really 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 good. Demon Chicken's gonna fly. Jin flying stunner. Is that gonna be it? How about a rope break, Jin? That's wow, an amateur amateur hope. mistake. His just limbs were laying under the bottom rope, and that is enough. That is enough to, to cause the rope break. Wow. Trying to slow things down. What a rookie mistake by Mr. Kazama. Hulk to the yeah, that side. Slowly cl climbing to his feet, but Jim with a punch, adjusting his belt before delivering a right hand. Gotta look good before you uh, smash your bone to the outside. I also imagine he didn't want his pants to fall. That's it's a uh... yeah. No one wants to see that. Ooh. I don't want to see that. That's uh, I don't want to know what kind of you know defects exist now because he's part uh, devil. I don't know what the... DDT though. <laughs> if medieval architecture and um, art is any. Pays any homage to the real demon that is Satan and his penis. I think I do want to see it. Uh, well, there's only one thing left to do, and that is someone to watch in this draw Jin, Devil Jin, naked. Uh, people have done that years ago. I well, we're 2018, man. We're a new year, new opportunities. Yeah. People draw characters naked within like five minutes of the character like being announced. Well, and Hulk where being... would these be found? Uh oh, Hulk top rope. They can be found. Oh. They, can oh, be found. they can be found at Cobra. Nambla Nambla.org forward slash Steve. Alright, we've been over this. <laughs> yeah no. I do not, I do not have a, a Nambla domain. Okay. Can't no, you, that enough. no, you have two of them. DDT Hulk bleeding. You have Namla dot oh, like one, Steve, and two. Slash also Steve, haha. -ha. Also uh -huh. Steve, haha. -ha. Steve swipe right. What? Swipe right. Isn't that what you do on the Tinders? It is what you do on the Tinders. Yes. What does that do? To anything at all? I don't know, Nambla. German suplex. <laughs> like German what, like, suplex. <laughs> a like, Nambla grinder. I don't know. <laughs> German <laughs> suplex. Andy, have you ever had a for, for the for those for the for those wondering what we're talking about? We're talking about the national brand of lookalikes. It literally just yeah. censored you. <laughs> yes, F five. Hook of the leg. One, two. Near fall! Oh. Hulk. 
a little frustration. Also, yesterday, Richard Pryor's widow said that he had sex with Marlon Brown. He did? Good luck getting that image out, out of your head. Say that one more time? Who? Richard Pryor fucked Marlon Brando. Yeah? For like a lot of money? No. To, just to fuck. <laughs> to like be in The Godfather and then he's like, haha, fooled you. No, they Enough fucked just people. to fuck. Nah, I, I'm sure it has something to do with affirmative action. <laughs> he was like, he was like, more like I reparations. Want, I, Marlon Brando was like, I want a black man to have sex with. Well, come on, come on, I will ask you to bring me a black man so that I don't have sex with him. On this, the day of my daughter's wedding, a black man for me to fornicate with. <laughs> but you don't even have the respect of calling me the godfather while he's sucking my dick. And then, and then the next morning, he woke up and opened took off his blankets and there was the head of a dead black guy in his bed. No! Tyrone, no, my <laughs> lover! No! Uh, I'm into a pin! One! Have no two! Dear fuck! No. <laughs> we... Oh, would have stolen a, a cruel orange, would have <laughs> down. You guys are firing on all cylinders tonight. Every cylinder, it's firing. Ryan's a heel commentator for making <laughs> Godfather red. Nobody disrespects the Godfather Springboard. <laughs> Drop smoke down off the ropes. Springboard. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> no, Marlon fucking Richard. <laughs> Come on. Martin Dick. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, you punch yourself. in the face. <laughs> we gather that composure there, folks. We're professionals! Are we? Yeah. Are we? Yeah, this is the most professional. We have show. a patron. <laughs> We are professionals. Okay, so we have a twenty-five dollar a month patron. Really? Which, yeah. Ryan, oh, if you were part of the Discord, like I said, I linked in the chat, you would know about that. Yeah, you dickhead. Oh shit! I completely forgot about. I it. know you did, cause we're not that important to you. Big one. Okay. You're a heel. What a chop! That's right, you're a heel. You just you oppose the natural order. Oh, cover one. one. Yep. Two. Uh -huh. You know me. Classic. I don't want to propagate the expansion of magnation. Yeah. Yeah, as a heel commentator, I want it to snag stagnate forever. Ryan wants our channel to get less and less popular so he can say more outlandish shit and there are less people to call him on in the video. Yes, that oh you've foiled my message. Less chance is some like self righteous like girl who had that terrible experience you're joking about is gonna retweet the audio of you making a joke about it on Twitter and it's gonna get sixty one thousand retweets in a day. And no such thing as bad press as long as they link the video. You know they won't. <laughs> yeah, but how else is anyone gonna know what he's talking yeah, about? Yeah, well, I challenged that girl preemptively to a boxing match. Well, she'll take a clip of it, obviously, and then fair enough. One, one, one v one me, bro. In a boxing match? Yeah. I'll fucking beat the shit out of her. Right, Ryan, you have Jesus. no idea what what this girl is at all. <laughs> German suplex. What makes you think? Yeah, no, I, I know, I know what she looks like. You know, typical. You know, fat has short, like rainbow-colored hair. Dresses like flannel. Like, has like ear piercings. Rides a motorcycle. <laughs> of course. Rides a motorcycle. Has assless shafts. No wait. Don't you guys? Has Jodie Foster tattooed on her back? <laughs> a picture of her or the word? Both. <laughs> in, in script. It's 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 just the word Jodie Foster over and over again, but it makes a picture of Jodie Foster. Ah, really, really tiny Jodie Foster's. A woman of taste. Like I see. I see. Top rope. Oh, nope, not top rope. <laughs> just just yeah, kidding. Top rope again. Top rope. He's going up. Is he going to call for it again? Yes, he is. Another, Demon Chicken taking flight. Another flying stunner for Jin. There. Oh, he 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 missed. Botch. Botch. 
Septimania. Full botch. Johnny Young botched. And he's he's concussed. He is running around the ring. <laughs> Full botch. The, their heads collided. Going back to the top rope. Elbow. If I run around really fast, the pain will go away. Number one. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, near full. I think that's a legitimate uh, botch. <laughs> Hulk have it He has no idea what's going on right now. He's in concussion city. Ooh. He is their mayor, I think. Oh, and that does not help. Oh, giant overhead belly to back suplex. And Hulk is calling for something, though. Put chicken out, demon chicken out of his misery. Yeah, five. And Look at the blood pouring from the Hulk's forehead. The cover, I would have rope it again. Wow. Back to back amateur mistakes. Oh, who would blame him? He has got that blood. Pouring perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Who know? Who know if he can even see the ropes from that crimson mask that he wears? Ooh. Overhead, overhead chop again. Elbow though by Jin. Trying to fight back. Doing so successfully. Going for the cover. One, two. Near four. This match is epic. Right now, and going into epic proportions, Call verging it, into epic it, territory. It, Call it, it is the Odyssey. A F fan. Call it the Odyssey. Yeah. Where's Homer? Don't. Never. Mage. Mage. Homer, I'm dead. <laughs> Mage. <laughs> it's morbid. Mm, there's the bully boy always with the small talk. But how can I can see and hear you? Because your 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 depression Stop, is right. causing you to see visions oh. of me. Giant splash! Number one! Hook of the leg! Two! Near fall again! What does he have to do? Marge, it was a near fall. He didn't pin him. Neither man could put the other one away. That body drop. Reaches around, trying to wrench that neck. Rip the head from the shoulders. Rip it clean up. Commit legitimate homicide. In front of everyone and these preteens. It will be tough One. to have a defense. Two, near fall! Jin Kazama kicking out, staying alive. The Hulk with that triangle choke, elbowing Jin in the forehead. Fireman's carry counter by Jin. Momentum on his side, perhaps. Against the ropes. Hulk now going for a ride. Drop it, but he misses. Uh oh. Hulk throwing Jin in the corner. Seating him nice on the top rope. Elbow by Jin. Flying her a Kirana. Against that very often for him. Using everything in his arsenal right now. Oh, he is still too close. Ooh. He's got to drag him away from the ropes if he wants to pin him. Rolling for a cover. One, two, near fall again. Wow. Ooh Jin cannot believe it. He is saying, owie, my bone. His bones. His bones. Oh, lifting the Hulk on his... Shoulders. Oh, oh my goodness. Blue wow. Thunder by one, two. That's it. Wow. Damn, son. Wow, what a match. A match that exceeded nearly 20 yeah. minutes. Concludes yeah, with Jin Kazama walking away, the Man Asian Green Champion. We have four... Either of these combatants will be the same again. We had four title changes and one title retention. That is a lot. That is a lot. A lot to wrap your head around going into Mag Madness. March Magnus. Damn it. <laughs> it's right. Mag Magnus. Magnitude. It's okay. It's a Be sure to fill out your brackets. Link in the description. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment on the video, too. 
We like both Ring that bell. Be our bell, bros. Sure. Do you guys have any final words before the video comes to conclusion? Merge. Trying to heal coming, baby. I just want to say to all my magnation faithful out there that you must become part of our community and become a Patreon member so that you too can be just like us and live the dream of being a part of the magnation. And you can also help, help with forest fires. That's important too.